Hundreds of thousands of Minnesota hunters are kicking off gun deer season across the state right now. It is opening weekend and even Minnesota Governor Tim Walz is taking part. He posted this photo with his newly issued hunting license last night. And here's a sign of the times. There's a COVID outbreak among deer herds across the border. A new study finds 80% of the white-tailed deer in Iowa tested positive for the virus. Sweet. However, there's no evidence it can be passed from deer to humans. Caroline Cummings explains what hunters need to know. We hunt in Cambridge, so on my uncle's land. He has about 30 acres out there. And uh, just being out there with the boys and uh, having some fun. Jason Wigleitner is looking forward to hunting deer with his family this weekend, like many Minnesotans across the state. The hunting opener comes as researchers just south found a new discovery. Yeah, I don't know really what to think about that. COVID running rampant in deer in Iowa. It was a little bit surprising to hear about how widespread or how many deer were actually involved. And so it raises some really interesting questions about, well, how and why? The study, which hasn't been peer reviewed, found 80% of deer sampled in Iowa tested positive for coronavirus. Dr. Jeff Bender at the University of Minnesota, who's a veterinarian studying infectious diseases, says concern about spillover in animals, whether it's pets or wildlife, isn't anything new. He says more studies on deer should follow. Is there a potential that deer could serve as a reservoir for this virus? But for Minnesotans hoping to get outside and hunt, Bender says there isn't cause for concern right now. There is no evidence that the virus can transfer from deer to humans. We want the hunters just to take their, their regular precautions, washing their hands, cooking their cooking the meat thoroughly, uh, and then maybe using gloves when they're processing their animal. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. The Minnesota DNR says it's not doing a study on COVID and deer here. They are allowing the University of Minnesota to collect samples for analysis at sites testing for chronic wasting disease.